Welcome everyone back to the channel. So in yesterday's video I mentioned that I, I'm going to be constructing a uh, grow light. Grow lights can be very expensive. Um, we decided on doing a video about how you could build your own kind of inexpensive grow light. Um, and our, our grow light that we need for our application is kind of a big one. So the span that we need is 56 inches by uh, 46 inches. Um, so today I'm going to take you along with what you saw at the very intro of my working grow light. Um, it should be pretty awesome and uh, I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> so if you're new to the channel, uh, this is our our channel. It's called Lally Life obviously because you saw it. Um, this channel documents our life living on our farm slash homestead. It's a 50 acre parcel that's located on the inside of a wildlife management area. Um, so everything you see on this channel is going to coincide with our daily life activities, our uh, working on our farm, dealing with our animals, and uh, little projects and stuff like that. So if you like it, I hope you all enjoy and I hope you subscribe. So without further ado, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working with today and uh, we're going to get into it. So the first thing I opted in doing was I picked up these shop lights. Uh, it's a T8. The best bulb so far on the market that you could use personally is a T5. Um, it's not as, this isn't as good as a T5, but it will be just fine for our application. It still has the full spectrum lighting, um, and it, it's still really effective. So this, one of these carries, uses two bulbs. Uh, it's about $17, $18 at Lowe's. I picked up two of them, so I'll be running four bulbs at the same time. Um, and then I picked up the bulbs because they're sold separately. These are GE Sunshine LED T8 bulbs. Uh, it's a one inch diameter, 25 millimeter prongs. Um, and they're rated for, let's see, 20,000 hours of use with 1600 lumens, so it's going to be pretty bright. Uh, Let's see, it's using 15 watts, uh, so pretty strong. Uh, for my actual hood that I'll be using, I'll be using a tri-fold foam display board, Elmer's. I have two of them. Uh, if you've ever made like a, a school fair, book fair report or a big project or display like that for like high school or college, then you probably use some of these. I know when I was in college, I didn't have to use these because we had a big... Uh, printer in the engineering department uh, that we printed them out. Uh, so that's what we used. But I did use these in high school. Um, so yeah. For my reflective material, I uh, will be using a survival, I actually picked up two, survival re reflective tents. So essentially all it is is mylar. Um, it's like a, a heating blanket or a survival blanket that you'd get in a little survival aid. Um, very reflective. And it's also a good heat insulator, so that's what we'll be doing. Um, I'm super excited to see how this turns out. And I set up our our seed trays out in our mudroom on an old kitchen table before we built this one. Uh, and they're still resting on uh, one of my old heating blankets. So got it cranked up to medium-low heat, and they're just uh, doing their thing. Hopefully germination is taking place so right now. Uh, the tomatoes will probably be sprouting in about four or five days, and then everything after that is kind of a waiting game. Uh, we have planted a bunch of different things from uh, heirloom grape tomatoes, heirloom beefsteak tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini squash, um, some sweet corn, carrots, rutabagas, uh, stuff like that. Carrots, you're not really supposed to do like that. Uh, started some pumpkins, it's super early, but uh, did that. And normally those types of crops you would just so right into the ground, but I wanted to experiment and see uh, if we could transplant them and stuff like that. So, uh, super excited, and um, we'll take you through this and see see how it turns out. So, stay tuned. So, first thing that I'm gonna want to do is actually take these light bars out of the packaging. See what we're working with. I opened them up in the store, but I just don't remember. So, 
going to go ahead and take these out. These are plug and play, so I don't have to do any wiring. They came with hanging hooks. That's good. I was talking to Tristan about it. I didn't know if they did or didn't. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to save these boxes. Get these out of the way. So these have uh, a built-in actual reflector. It's just painted white. Um, so I'll probably take it apart and just use the bar themselves and inset it inside my, my homemade hood. So here are the actual bulbs themselves. Like I said earlier, these are, uh, these were almost $20 for four of them. So pretty good. I hope we'll see how it works. So they're in place now. Just gonna hook them in a regular outlet and see how bright they are. Yes, that will be good. That's really good. That'll be very good for the plants. So I don't like these these reflectors. So I'm probably just gonna take off it, take these bulbs out, take these built-in reflectors out and then uh, drop them, these lights actually inside my reflective hood that I'm making and uh, we'll test that out. Because the only thing that these reflectors really do is they cover up where the ballast is like I mentioned earlier. So that's probably what I'll do. These are very nice. So this is a better, uh, better bang for my buck, or bang for our buck really um, those small lights that I was using for those tomatoes they were about um, forty dollars per light whereas I'm getting <laughs> I don't know we'll say five times the amount of light for sixty bucks So like I said, I'm using this Elmer's foam trifold board. Just use a case knife. That's what I'm carrying today. My dad gave it to me, so it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Take off all this extra plastic and stuff like that. Go ahead, open the second one while we're at it. So this will be the interior and exterior of my actual reflector. So it'll be able to cast or redirect all that sun energy that we're gonna create for my uh, seedlings. If you haven't seen that video, yesterday I planted 648 seedlings and that this is what's gonna be used to give them sunlight until we can sun harden them out outside.
So, as you can see, I have my Mylar glued here. I'm just going to let it cure overnight and then uh, we'll check it in the morning. So. so, it's the next day. Everything seems to have cured right. I'm just going to go ahead and start trimming it so I can fold it back a little bit and uh, fix it to the back of the actual uh, hood. There we go. So now I just have to put my inserts in. So there, we got those inserted. Now I just need to uh, attach them to the hood. Well everyone, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to make, uh, super inexpensive compared to some of the grow lights that you can purchase online or from a shop. Uh, in total, that build costs like 65 bucks. So it's a little food for thought if you want to make your own. Um, in the next week or two, well, longer than that, in the next few weeks to come, we'll find out how well it works. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see the outcome. And uh, we just have a bunch of stuff happening. Those 648 seedlings will be sprouted in the next three, four weeks, something like that. And then we can sun harden them and get them ready to be put into our two acre garden. Uh, so one of the next big projects that we'll be doing out here is that we're actually gonna be fencing off our two acre garden. Uh, we'll be harvesting some uh, trees, make, turning them into logs, setting some posts in there and then actually fencing it off with uh, wire and barbed wire to protect from the local wildlife like deer and nuisance animals that will end up eating all of our produce. So that'll be a fun little video or two. I can't wait to show it with y'all. And uh, just thank y'all so much. It means so much to me and my family. Um, we're just getting better and better. So uh, if you've been here since day one, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I appreciate all your comments uh, in the comments section. Uh, we're getting a lot of new subscribers, so if you're new to the channel and you've uh, watched till now at the end of the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and just continue to uh, watch and grow with us. Uh, appreciate it, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. So, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all.